Yo, what's up guys, how you all doing? I'm Paul Tech Giant, welcome back to the channel, where today I'm gonna to be doing a daytime brightness, reflection and viewing angle test with these two TVs, which are the 65 inch Samsung Q95T and the 65 inch LG C10 OLED. Just wanna say a big thanks to Skylarks for sponsoring today's video. Skylark's ultra-fast wireless HDMI is a simple yet effective plug-and-play transmitter and receiver that allows HDMI devices to be connected wirelessly allowing up to 4K resolution at a range of 30 meters with near zero latency. Now this is great for those who want to connect devices that are some distance apart but don't want an HDMI cable trailing around the room or for those who just want a cleaner looking install of a wall mounted TV with no unsightly HDMI cables ruining the view. So pick up yours today from the link in the description. Right, let's get straight into it then. And just quickly wanna show you guys the viewing environment. So I've got a south facing living room. Um, quite a bright day out there at the moment. For UK standards anyway, got quite a bit of natural daylight coming into the room, but no direct sunlight onto the TVs themselves. Now this is the only way that I can put the TVs, can't put them side by side due to a limited space in there. Um, but I will go up and down between the two TVs. And uh, just to point out that that sofa is not shadowing that TV. So don't worry, they're both going to be getting a, you know, the same sort of light on them. And uh, yeah, I'll go between the two to make it sort of as fair as possible to show what I'm seeing with my own eyes. So to start off with then, we're in standard mode on both of these two TVs. I've adjusted the brightness to be the same levels, but again, in a minute, I'll bump the brightness up on both TVs and uh, see how well that Samsung copes in a brighter environment. And I will also test out some HDR footage as well and some darker footage. So let's uh, just quickly go it in close then on the Samsung. We go round to the side and first check out the viewing angles. So we go round quite far. And then we will go down to the LG. And I think you can see there is uh, quite a bit of difference there between the two. The Samsung tends to wash out the further you go round, where the LG seems to maintain the colour and contrast far better. But to be fair, for the type of technology that the Samsung TV is, it still does do a very good job. Don't get me wrong, the viewing angles on this TV are spectacular for what it is. But it's just that the LG being an OLED is just that uh, bit better. There we go, just show you one more time. Right, let's move round to the other side and uh, have a look at some of those reflections then. So we can see the reflections from those windows falling onto that Samsung screen. And uh, to be fair, that's doing a really good job. Let's go down to the LG and uh, Still not doing too bad, but not as good. As you can see, if I go between the two, like the Samsung has got like a, like a red sort of tinge to it. And it does do a better job. I've put it on the wide angle there. Go between the two. There you go, there's a sort of a good comparison because we've got the light falling on both. And the... Uh, Problem is for the LG is a uh, quite a shiny screen, so that doesn't help the situation. Right, let's uh, change up to the uh, next bit of footage, and uh, we'll bump that brightness right up. Right onto the next bit of footage now, then, and I've turned both TVs to their like dynamic brightest settings that you can get, and. Uh, as we can see, the Samsung is significantly brighter. If we just go around to the side, you should be able to see that there. So if you are looking for a TV that can go into a very bright room, then uh, the Samsung is definitely the TV for you. There's no doubt about that. You know, if you get a lot of direct sunlight, I mean, it's almost like blowing out on the camera at the moment. That's how bright it is. 
just go around to the sides there. Still doesn't improve that viewing angle, obviously. But let's have a look when it comes to you know, getting that light on there because again, it's so bright there. You're not really seeing as much of those reflections. Where on the LG, they are a little bit more prominent still. So that better anti-reflective coating on the Samsung and that more intense brightness is really helping combat the, uh, the, those reflections and that brightness coming through the windows there. So just show you from further back there. Yeah, you can blatantly see that extra brightness on that Samsung. Now, before we move on to the next bit of footage, I just want to show you guys something quickly. Now, both TVs are still on their dynamic modes and uh, LG OLEDs are renowned for their uh, deep black levels and people only presume that, you know, that's only going to be um, any good when it comes to uh, you know, nighttime viewing, dark room, that sort of thing. If I just show you quickly, on this Samsung, we can see just sort of around this area and there we've got a glow going on around sort of those bright areas. But if we move down to the LG, so even in the daytime, we can see those black levels do still come through and help to highlight things. So we're not getting sort of that glow there. So we're getting a nice contrast. Just something I thought was a bit interesting to show you guys there, because everyone just presumes, you know, black levels are only good in a darker environment. Right, moving on to some HDR footage then. And uh, as we can see, we've got uh, HDR dynamic mode on the Samsung. So full brightness again and HDR Vivid on the LG. So let's uh, just clear those off the screens and uh, get both pieces playing. Now you just have to bear with me because I am having to run these bits of uh, video independently from each other. So there might be a slight delay between the two. And once again, we can see that increased brightness there on the Samsung. But the image is a little bit washed out on it. So come around to the side again. And let's go and have a look at those uh, reflections. So it's doing, again, really good job there on the Samsung. But if we go down to the LG, we can see the reflections are a bit uh, more intense. Okay, on to a darker bit of footage now then. And uh, what I've done this time is I've evened out the brightness between the two TVs and both are now in their standard modes. And uh, yeah, there is quite a significant difference on this. The Samsung all, almost looks like it's sort of blowing out in areas, a bit sort of, uh, yeah, a bit washed out. The LG, Seems to just be a bit more of a cleaner look to it. Let's go around to the sides. And uh, I have just tested both of these in the dynamic modes on this bit of footage as well. And it seems to have the uh, same result. I think this bit of footage is quite testing for both of these TVs. It's a bit of my own footage. So whilst that Samsung has got the better anti-reflective technology there, we can clearly see on the LG, it's almost acting like a mirror, but the image is just clearer and cleaner on the LG there. Well, there you go then, guys. Now, I just want to quickly point out that I didn't mention something in the video, and that is that both TVs did have their like eco modes and auto brightness levels both turned off, so you know the TVs weren't adjusting themselves. 
Now, if you have enjoyed this video today, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please do so. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.